Some say golf is an old man's game. That's good. There is some truth to that. Augusta good or just Zephyr Hills good? But Nora Catlin is proving. Even pros hit mediocre shot. Uh, that the kids can swing it too. It doesn't get much better. I hope she knows that. The 13 year old hasn't been playing long, but the game comes naturally. That was a plan. It comes so naturally, she's earned the chance of a lifetime. Yeah, oh, Augusta. Yeah. What's it make you think when you hear the word? I, I don't even know what to think because I've all my life I've thought about going there. A chance to tee it up at Augusta National, home of the Masters next week. I was in front of a lot of people, so I didn't want to like freak out. But definitely once we got to the car, I started like screaming like with my parents and like just really excited. Is this one of the biggest sporting moments of your life? Definitely. Just making it this far is impressive enough for Nora, who had to go through three different levels of qualifying to make it to the National Drive Chip and Putt Finals. Now here in Zephyr Hills, the local qualifying was no problem for her. Even in Orlando, where it got a little bit tougher, the original qualifying wasn't too tough for her. When she went down the road to Jacksonville, she was representing the entire state of Florida and beat out every other kid in the state to make it to Augusta National. And now the stiffest test of all comes down Magnolia Lane, where she will, on April 2nd, try to compete against some of the best kids in the country. 60,000 tried out and only 80 made it to the national finals. But win or lose, she's going to have fans right there by her side who are proud that she's come this far in golf. Honestly, I expect her to do very well. I think she's got a good chance to, to win the whole thing. No, I don't think it's really hit her yet, you know, how big a deal is. On the road in Zephyr Hills, I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News, WTSP. That's how you drew it up, right?